hey, 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 I said I would do this, so let's go ahead and do it. I got nothing better to do tonight, and unfortunately Twitch is an asshole. I'm going to turn up the sound, because I just listened to like five minutes of my wolf child stream, or a thing, and I couldn't hear shit, so maybe this will turn up a little more, turn up to 50. All right, hopefully that's enough, and if not, then, oh well. This is Ultraman for the Super Nintendo. There's actually two versions of this game made, not in the United States, though. I don't even know if this version was released in the Japanese market, but I know they released a different one that was also released on the Sega Genesis. So, that's actually pretty cool. I was in love with this game as a, when, I, when, I, when I first got the Super Nintendo. This was the first game I rented. Alright, let me get that mouse cursor out of the way. A lot of people hate this game, and I understand why. But at the same time, I have a soft spot for Ultraman, because when this game came out on the Super Nintendo, it actually came on Channel 20 at WXON in Detroit at, at the same time. It was like, it was as if they were introducing me to what Ultraman really was. I mean, it, this game is not great by any means, but I have a soft spot for it, because I used to play the piss out of it when I was a little... And I couldn't figure out how to beat the enemies, and then, you know, and then I read the instruction booklet, finally, and found out that, yeah, you gotta charge up your laser, which is that in the middle of the screen, to L4, and then see how it says finish? When I finally get up to that point, I can finish them off, but you gotta watch out, though, because they can recharge their energy bar, and Gudius, Goidus, whatever, is dead. So this is basically a fighting game along the lines of, like, has that Godzilla feel to it because it's the same concept, you know, people in costumes and breakable paper, plastic, or even uh, styrofoam structures in the Japanese market, the TV show. And if you get a hundred thousand, you get an extra life. And you have to continue. So we're just going to see how far I can get. Maybe I'll beat it. Maybe I won't. Some days are better than others. I know that, that Mode 7 is, seems cheesy now, but back then that was the tits. Matter of fact, there's something I used to cheer after every uh, Mode 7 uh, thing uh, segment. I'll, I'll, t I'll show you what it is next time on the next match. If you ever want to cheat this game and win, do what I'm doing right here. As a matter of fact, you're going to see a lot of that later in the game if I get that far. Because right now, I'm no longer drunk, I'm just buzzed. And usually this is where I get depressed because I really like that feeling of just that numbness, you know what I mean? Like the feeling of just not having to worry about jack shit. I was disappointed at the wolf child audio getting catching. Hopefully this will... I'm not good with video editing software, guys. I'm not, I was not, I, you know, I never fucked with it necessarily. I'm not ever in any kind of... Um, I'm not an expert at it. I just preview it and hope the hell it comes out alright. So hopefully this will work out. And if not, then I'll do what I, what I can to make it better in my next video after this one. Of course, I'll probably wait for another day because I'm just going to do two and call tonight. At least with video gaming on recording. I mean, I may play some Saints Row and kill some people. Or Grand Theft Auto and kill some people. One of the two. I'll, I'll find out. All right, let's do the spiel I used to do when I was nine years old. That's, that's when this game came out, was when I was nine years old. Or, when I got my Super. When it, the Super Nintendo, I got it when I was nine. Back in the winter of, nine, uh, winter of 1991. Such a magical time to be alive. Anyways. Ultraman springs into action. Incredible. And my friends loved that shit when I was growing up. They thought that was just... Like, it, it sounded like, just like it would fit into the show. 
I hate this motherfucker. He's cheap. When I was a kid, I could not beat this motherfucker. And, you know, tonight, like, or, yeah, tonight, I'm intoxicated, so my reflexes aren't as sharp as they normally are, so. I sound like I'm gonna pass out, I know. I'm tired, I'll be honest with you. I, I don't sleep well anymore. I, I know this game ain't the best, but I like it. Some may either consider it a kos kosuge or... Yeah, kosuge, which is uh, Japanese meaning for shitty game. Uh, like Takashi's Challenge and others. And I will admit, Takashi's Challenge is pretty bad. And the reason why it is bad is because... Uh, beat Takesh, Takashi or um, Takashi Katano was not a fan of technology and he was basically making the game to make his fellow Japanese people who enjoyed technology suffer. That's not a right way to go about it. I mean, I would I would do something like that today because I hate the games today. I fucking can't stand them. I'll play them, like a couple of them, but I'm not like a huge supporter of them like Boogie2988 or any of those motherfuckers. And there's my extra life. So I was wrong on that. It's 50,000 you get your first extra life. Can't believe I'm playing this game. <laughs> and we're going to put it on YouTube. It's, just, it's weird. A lot of people play this game and they just talk about how shitty it is. I like this tune, though. This game is not at all good or great. It's just I wanted to share one of my guilty pleasures with you guys. Like I did, I did that in my stream. I uh, did a video of some of my favorite little fighting games I used to play f as, as a guilty pleasure. Rise of the Robots was one of them, and I actually beat it on the stream. I mean, and that's nothing to be proud of. It, it really isn't. Rise of the Robots is a terrible, terrible game, and the sequel's even worse, if you can even comprehend that. Speaking of, I played uh, the Game Gear port of that on the emulation, and it was absolutely horrible. I'm surprised Game Boy didn't get a port. <laughs> or maybe it did, and I just don't know anything about it. <laughs> that would fucking suck. In the Genesis version, I was surprised to see the FMV cutscenes in that version is actually world's better than the Super Nintendo version. I think it's because it's the resolution on the Genesis is so much better than the Super. See, I don't understand that about the Super. It's technologically technologically better than the Sega Genesis by far. It has uh, two graphic processors, you know, scaling, rotation, and a kick-ass sound system. Now, that's not to say the Genesis is a slouch. The Genesis had a shitty, shitty um, color palette. Uh, it, the graphic processor wasn't all that great. A lot of the uh, tricks you see on the screen actually had to be compromised through uh, developer programming. Software based. Because the hardware just could not do it. I, I hated this fucker when I was a kid too. Um, so... Not to, you know, a lot of people have their opinions on which what was, what was better during that time period. I mean, I used to get in the fights with a lot of people about how the Super Nintendo was better than the Genesis because, well, technologically, it really was better. It had, uh, yeah, the only things that had bad with the Super Nintendo was the slower processing speed. 3.58 megahertz is not shit compared to Genesis 6.6. Six eight or no seven point six eight I think megahertz and more resolution I don't know the resolution from the top of my head but I'm about to get my ass kicked here um, yeah I might lose one of my lives here.
then, you know, the Genesis tried to compensate by making a CD add-on, and all that really did was give you CD audio. Why? You didn't ha you didn't up the color palette, which you could have, because the CD can hold it. Only thing you do is add CD audio to your games, and maybe some FMV sequences, which looked rainy as fuck. It looked even worse than a Macintosh LC2, and that thing couldn't output video worth a fuck. <laughs> and, well, Macintosh was a shitty line of computers, in my opinion, anyway. I mean, they had a couple interesting uh, lines in, in their lineup. Like the, pow like the Power Macintosh? That was a pretty neat computer. I'm getting my ass kicked again. It's like being nine years old all over again. I hope I don't die a second time, but this motherfucker's being a cheap son of a bitch right now. He's doing his... Stop! See, I hate this shit. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die here. Oh, fuck. Yep. I might as well just die. Yep. I might not do it this time. You suck, Ultraman. <laughs> Fucking asshole. I hate this motherfucker. Hey, I'm just gonna do the... I don't care. Let him regenerate his power. Cause he's just being cheap as shit. You've seen that shit. He just kept hitting, knocking me down over and over again. I didn't have any kind of way to combat that. Or I could've, but like I said, I'm under the influence. I know. Excuses, excuses. But fuck it, I'm... Me and my friends made a joke about this guy when we were kids. We think if AIDS was an actual monster, it would be goodiest to, goodiest to, whatever. I mean, the sad thing is I don't remember goodiest or goodiest to in the actual show. Matter of fact, none of these guys I don't recognize from the show. It's like, it makes me wonder if they actually... I mean, I could be dead wrong. I wasn't hardcore in Ultraman. Because this was on Sunday morning. It would come on on WXON at around, I think, 10 o'clock or something like that. And that's when I had to go to church as a child. So I didn't get to check, the chan to check all Ultraman. There, I got extra life, so... Oh, there's still light at the end of the tunnel. Is this a Bork on? We're fucked. <laughs> it's a bulk on. It's a, what the fuck? I'm gonna have to look on YouTube and see if I can find these fuckers in, in the Ultraman universe. Yeah! <laughs> I always thought that was just flaming. Yeah! We used to comment on a uh, guy from Final Fight. He's like, he sounds like a Power Ranger. You know that whole scream he does when he does a jump kick? He's like, ay <laughs> It's like, it's morphin' time! ay <laughs> Ah, shit. I gotta watch out, because this guy is a flamethrower that does hella damage. Yep. Majaba, he's the hardest motherfucker in this game, hands down. Killazi, who's the final boss, is not nearly as hard as he is. Majaba... Ugh, I used to curse at him. I'm probably gonna die here, too. I don't care. I'm not playing just to, uh, you know, beat like some most YouTubers do. I'm not a long player. I just like to play the games. And if I beat them, great. If I don't, then I don't, you know? What am I going to do if I were to beat a lot of games? Am I going to get a, a medal of sorts? No, I'm not. <laughs> so, I just play them to have fun. And I'm sucking major ass right now, which I'm not surprised. But, a little secret, or a little um, thing. I beat this game on Expert before. Just doing this. If I can. Not, no, not that, obviously. 
this. The whole time. Damn, he's really being cheap. What I hate about him is he doesn't stand still at all. Yeah. Come on. If I lose again, I'm gonna be pissed. Fuck off. <laughs> Piece of shit. According to Instruction Man, well, he has some kind of disease, and when you kill him, the sky turns blue. Oh, that's so precious. That's so pretty. Pretty like titties. Titty, titty, titties. I don't know where that's from. Don't ask. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> You're better off not knowing. I, 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 I got it from a friend when I was growing up. My friend Dan would always be like, Titty, titty, titty. He was, he was obsessed with breasts. And I think breasts are overrated, but that's just me. I'm more of an ass man. See if anyone's messaged me. Probably not, because I don't have any friends anymore. Yeah, I'm a loser now. Wait a minute, what's that? Oh, nothing. <sighs> ah, yep, here we go. Majaba. This son of a bitch can go suck a cock. And then some. I hate this. I hate this guy. He has a cool theme, though. There's this guy, and then that Kalola guy, and then Killazi, I think, and that's the end of the game. If, if I can get that far, which I don't think so, because my job is owning me threefold right now. be so badass at this game and this makes me look like I'm just a complete liar. <laughs> that shield is almost worthless. Because either it's too slow. Alright, we got one more life left. Here we go. I sure hope I make it to the end. If not, maybe I'll play one more and then I'll be it. Some, sometimes we need a refresher. Uh, the AI is such an asshole, though. It's like you can tell what you're gonna do, almost. And I, I guess that's good, because a lot of people were comp complained about that shit in the day. They're like, why in the AI? Why is the AI so fucking stupid? It's like because it's not. We're not that far in technology yet. I mean, even today, the AI is, like, in, G in Grand Theft Auto V, I will admit, the AI is very impressive. Ah, oh, shit, I was about to play. Alright, well, game over, but I am gonna play again. Fuck it. I got nothing better to do. Got nothing better to do. either this or look at random YouTube videos or play something on my Steam uh, collection which I don't play enough of. I haven't, I don't even think I beat one game on my... Well, I did. Uh, Saints Row the Third because I really liked that game. It was a lot of fun. I'm currently playing through Saints Row 4. I'm trying to get gold medals on everything. It's that completionist in me. Yeah, hopefully this time will be a better go than the last one. Would you fucking knock it off? I can see why people don't like this game, though. I can't. It's irritating as hell. Like, the whole... 
Because they give the, the the computer has, it's like the computer has more um, power than you do. It's unbalanced, and I can understand that. But I I, I don't know. I just have a soft spot for this game because I used to play it a lot with my brother and my friend Steve. My dad actually kind of thought it was cool too. He didn't play it. He just liked watching us play it. While my mom went out to bars, trying to get laid. Slut. <laughs> Yes, I said that about my mama. Oh, well, she's fucking 72. Gives a shit. We all, you know, as long as this heart's beating in our chest, we're always going to crave... We're all going to crave something. Like, I crave Pinoch, and I'm sure, sure you guys out there crave Pinoch as well. This is the way the world works, man. It's the way we're made. It's fucking bullshit. And then the women fucking hold that shit back from us, and that's why we have porn, yo. Think about that, ladies. If you wouldn't put, it, stop not putting out, then maybe we would. Um, if you would, yeah. Um, I forgot where I was going with that. <laughs> I just made myself look like a complete retard. Okay, let's let's use um, let's let's use a better approach here. Maybe if the women would put out, maybe we wouldn't have to use pornography. <gasps> wouldn't that be something? I mean, we got the most fucked up world right now, dude, with, our, our, you know, I mean, there's MGTO, which I'm actually very, very, uh, supportive of them. I mean, yeah, that saying, a, mar a ma married man saying that makes me look like a hypocrite, but think about it. MGTO, the, fuck it, they're living life and enjoying it without the need of a mate, and that's cool. I, I support that, actually. I mean, I'm a happily married guy, but there's, you know, some some people aren't as unfortunate as my... I mean, there's a lot of bitches out there. You guys remember my old vlogs, and I spoke of them, and a lot of the women I was seeing at the time were bitches. They were pieces of shit. And I feel sorry for any man that's laying down with them right now. I really am. Well, except the one, the lesbian. I still think it was funny. One of the last conversations we had, she told me that her girlfriend <laughs> cheated on her in jail. <laughs> oh, that was hysterical. She's like, yeah, she cheated on me in jail. And I'm, and I'm sitting there just trying hard not to laugh because I'm like, ah, how does it feel, bitch? She cheated on me many times. Fucking whore. Ah, funny shit. No, if I were to ever to, you know, be a single man again, I would just, you know, stick to porn and do my own thing. Fuck it. You know, we live in a different world now like we did back in the 90s. It's, today is actually more shallow as, you know, good times. Because everyone spends their time online and it kind of sucks. I wish I'd, you know, the only reason why I'm online because I don't have any real friends to go to down here. I don't have anyone to hang out with, you know, so I, the only place I can actually have some sort of interaction with is either with my wife or with people online, and she's always online watching Teal Deer and, uh, that one other dude, I can't think of his name, and a lot of creepy pastas and shit, stuff that don't interest me. I mean, I, I like Teal Deer, though, he's cool, because he be basically beats the living shit out of feminists. It with facts. Okay, Digola, bye bye. But yeah, seriously, if if if, if you know if things were just to turn into a complete shit fest, and you know, I was to go back to my old lifestyle, I'd just stick to porn. I wouldn't even look for another woman, cause fuck that shit. It's too much work. I mean, she even asked me. She's like, if you and I just got into a rut and it was unfixable and we separated, what would you do? Because I think all women ask that question. And I told her, I'm like, I ain't going through this again. Fuck that noise. I'm just going to be kind of like a hermit, you know? Just, you know, just live my life the best way I can by myself and... You know, until I die. 
and that's the only way to go about it. You know, there's a lot of things I want to do. I would like to go to Cedar Point a couple times and go on some of the rides. Yeah, I went that with, one time with my buddy Carl, but he didn't want to go on any rides. He was no fun at all. He pissed me off, actually, that day because he didn't want to go on any rides. I actually went on a ride with uh, his brother Kevin, though, which was a lot of fun. It's just, if we went on the Iron Dragon. I know that's a pussy ride, but you know what? It was fun. That part was fun. I didn't, I was running off no sleep because I was just so excited that I've been wanting to go, I've been having dreams about going to Cedar Point again, and it was fun. To, you know, to, uh, it was going on with my buddy, and it was fun playing, you know, Pac-Man and Zaxxon and Berserk. You know, the coin-op classics that I grew up to play and enjoy. <clears throat> but, uh... Yeah, I would like to do that. I also would like to go visit Germany and Japan or Japan before I die. I doubt I will, but, you know, it's just... It's dreams that, you know, sometimes help us strive to reach in our uh, goals in life, if there's any. I'm, you know, but, you know, if you think about it, at the end of all that, who gives a shit? You're... It just, it's just going to end up the same thing. You're just... It's going to be over someday. So what's the point? I never understood that. I mean, why... There's no point! <laughs> you know, your parents fucking you're here, and then you're here until whenever the fuck... When your body starts to fail, and then, and then you're done. Then what does it matter? It's just, that's some... That's one of the things that you sometimes cause my panic attacks, is when I think like that. But I've come to accept it, you know. You want to think you're invisible. You want to think no one, nothing can kill you or nothing can beat you. But I'm pretty sure some... Some sorry son of a bitch were to pull a knife or a gun on you and stab you in one of your vital organs. You would... Yeah, you would die like everyone else. I jumped. I'm trying to do this safely, but I don't think I will. I'm, 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 I'm cheesing this as best I can. It might work, but then again it might not. And I wasn't unfinished. I always hit him before I hit that finish, though. See, God damn it! Always. <sighs> Ultra fag springs into action. Incredible. And yes, I said fag. Fuck you. Don't care. Sick of these butthurt idiots on YouTube. Oh my God, you said fag. Oh my God, you said the N word. Shut up. Just kill yourself. If seriously, if anything upsets you that bad, you should just kill yourself. The world's not roses in 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 paisies, my friend, or candies, or rainbows, or even ponies. And and well, if you watch My Little Pony, which you're a brownie, and brownies are idiots and faggots. At least from my experience, I could be dead wrong. I don't like brownies, though, personally. I think it's just stupid. Oh, look at me, I'm an adult. I watch a little pony show for girls. I mean, come on, get fucked. Idiot. I mean, yeah, some say, hey, you're furry, you jack off the Lola Bunny. Well, I'm sure, sure most men have had crushes on cartoon characters, or still to this day beat off on cartoon characters. My wife is attracted to Speed Racer. The original. Yeah. I know he wasn't much to look at, but she was attracted to him when she was a girl. Not anymore, because she's not as perverted minded as I am. Because that's the thing. Most women don't aren't, you know, 
freaks. And the, you know, and up here as much as men. But I have met some women who are. And I get along with them more so than the, the prissy ones. And I don't understand why. Maybe because we both had the same mindset? Yeah, I'm actually pretty sober now. This kind of blows. I don't like sober land. Take me back to drunken land, please. Yeah, I'm gonna die here. See, Bolgon's a cheap bastard. See, my problem with the game is the enemy is just overly powered, and you're weak as shit. And they're faster than you. Which I get, because, you know, Ultraman was, you know, the superhero that had the odds stacked against him, and he was to, you know, go through that, but... I'm fucking tired. Because <laughs> that's what he looks like, he's like... He's like, yeah, I drink too much, I'm gonna go sleep now. Or, yeah, I smoke so much, too much, uh, uh, indica, I'm gonna go sleep now. <laughs> I gotta bring the fucking gauge back up. This is stupid right here. The whole having to rage gauge back up. I mean, why couldn't they put you up to L2 at the very least? But no, we're gonna start you at the bottom. This time I'll I'll uh, at least get the kill as maybe. God bless it. I see that's why I hate this motherfucker. And Majaba, they're cheap. Oh good, he caught me. Bitch. Fuck you, man. Zabogon. It's sparkly, it's pretty, it's a nice blue day outside. Let's go watch the flowers and the trees bloom. Uh, fuck off. Go piss on the tree and watch the flowers wilt as you fart on them. <laughs> uh, yep, I can just tell right now I'm going to be one of those old people that stand on their lawns and kids go on it and I'm going to spray them with a the hose. Get off my lawn, you little pecker! Who's next? Uh, Majaba, right? <sighs> uh, no, I hate this cocksucker. Ultra shit bag, incredible. Eat a dick. I actually own this cartridge still. The same one I got from my aunt the following year. But it got really cheap because it sold poorly and no one wanted it. I didn't care. I liked the I liked the game. And I still like it to an extent. It's just eh, some of the enemies are just really cheap. Like this one, for instance. Good old Majava. I can't, I can't, I honestly can't tell you the last time I played this game other than today, or tonight. But if it <laughs> it wasn't as bad as this, though. I was actually a lot better at this game at one point, which is sad. It just shows that... <laughs> I'm sober, I can't conjure many words. But what I do know is my job is starting to really make me mad. Like, generally making me mad. I'm trying to stay chill throughout this whole process, but damn it, I just want to get to the last fucking boss. Someone just messaged me. Alright, 
I, I got him. Well, I had him. I'm finished, but I still gotta charge stuff. Press that Y button. See, he's gonna be cheap now, you piece of shit. I just wanna make sure. Come one more time. Fuck off! Ha! Beat him. I think that uh, the Kolola guy and then kill a Z and then the game's over. I think. Put the at this guy. Just give me one second. Yeah, since my tablet broke, I've been using this to talk, text people and shit. It's using uh, Wi-Fi, though. It's a um, Boost Mobile LG Venice piece of shit. I rooted it the other day. Because it runs like shit, and even after being rooted and deleting the bloatware, it still runs like shit. It's a piece of shit phone. See what I mean? Like, the enemies are way overpowered. I'm already in the yellow, and he's in the blue still. I mean, I could stop that if I really gave a damn, but I really don't give a damn. I like his music, too, though. I was impressed with the sprite work at in back in the early 1990s. I was like, wow, this looks really good. Like, the animation, the sprite, like, the sizes. That's one thing the Super Nintendo did excel in, though, in terms of... Depending on how it was done, of course. The sprite size. <sighs> That's not looking too good, though. Kill a Z is a bitch, too. I just wish I remembered my strategies. I mean, I could just do this, but then he'll gain some of his energy back. I'll wait till I go to L2, and then I'll hit him again. I won't hit him with a laser, though. So I got a chance to demo that for, uh, PS4 Godzilla game, because I've always been a fan of Godzilla. Why... that game looks great, but it plays absolutely shit. I... I tried to like it, I couldn't. I'm not at... I'm never buy, I'm not buying a system probably from here on out, because... I don't like game systems anymore. They're, they're too much like computers. Why why buy a game system that mimics a computer? When you can just play a computer. Bitch. That's the way I look at it. Why? Why? Because... And then people are like, Oh, you just pop in a game and press plower and then you get... No, no, no. You still have day one patches and all that wonderful shit. I mean, my computer's not great, but it runs. It runs stuff, and it makes me happy. So do the other four computers I have in the corner. <laughs> I have, a, like, a graveyard. I use them for parts and other things. And if this one ever fails, you know, I'll clean one of those ones up and hook it up, and I'll still... I'll be back up and running. Even though they're all fucking single core. Face palm. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Final boss. Kill a Z. 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 Kill
Or Kyle Z. Don't know. I've never seen these guys on the show. He's a jumpaholic. Too. When I was a kid, I had a strategy against this guy. What I did was I would wait until I was L3, shoot him, and then if I died, I might just do that now, just for the sake of this video record. There, got him. He's low, but he's not in finish yet. All right, here it is, do or die. Because this guy's a cheap asshole. From the bulk on to the end of the game, they get really stupid cheap. When I was a kid, I was like, oh man, Kill Z looks badass. He's a dragon. Because I have a hard on for dragons. See how he's jumping? He's like a rabbit. He's a rabbit. not a fan of Elmer Fudd. I always hated his voice. It annoyed the shit out of me. And if you played Mega Man 8, we might got this. You would hear that voice from Dr. Light. He was like, oh, that squirrely rabbit Mega Man. Shit, I'm dead. I'm done. Yep. I'm dead. I tried, guys. I really did. Yep. Game over. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Is there a rewind? Fuck that shit. If there's a rewind on this, then I'm gonna see if I can... And we'll just say fuck it, and... Nah, I don't think so, though. I'm seeing if there's a rewind function, because that's bullshit. I should have won that one. Um, I'm not seeing it. I'm using a SNES 9X version 1. Point. There's no rewind, really. I mean, I don't want, like, cheating, but at the same time, I just thought I could rewind and maybe see if I can correct my mistake, but I guess I'll just leave it at that. Alright, I got to the final boss. Uh, that's something. I, I definitely need to replay this game um, and get better at it because that was pathetic. I usually beat this game with no problem. Yeah, it looks like I lost my way at some, between some point in time. Anyways, this was a how far I can get. Unlike, I was hoping it could be a playthrough, but instead it was a how far I can get, and I got to the final boss. But hey, I may come back to this after some practice and actually beat it. Unless you want to just look at the ending on YouTube, that's up to you. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm done for the night with recording stuff. I wanted to stream these, but unfortunately, Twitch in my computer and whatever the fuck is not working right so we'll just leave it at this and i'll call the night y'all have a great night let's see it's 108 in the morning here most of you are probably sleeping some of you may not be i'm a night owl by nature that's just the way i was made so i'm gonna be up for a while anyways i'm gonna upload this y'all have a good night take care of yourself and stay golden